Construction and engineering company Basil Reed has faced down uh, tough trading and economic conditions to post satisfactory full year results with headline earnings per share down 33% to 139.65 cents per share. And we take a look at the numbers now and the CEO of the company joins us, Marius Haynes. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Great to have you on Thanks the program. So um, it's a tough environment out there. So headline earnings per share down 33%. And I suppose the biggest question is, is this as bad as it's going to get? I believe so, and uh, if I listen to the peers in the industry, very similar outlook. I believe we've reached the bottom. Uh, 2012 bodes well. Um, I think it's a year of recovery, 2012, and uh, uh, 2013, I think, is going to be the, the year that most contractors are waiting for again. Mm. Well, let's just, I mean, in, in terms of what you are expecting into 2013, we've also heard um, government being very vocal over the past three years or so about this 846 billion rand that it's going to be spending. It also has said uh, over 3 trillion rand to be spent within the construction space. Are you convinced that this is actually going to filter through into the companies into South Africa? We do because, um, you know, we, we do have contact with some uh, government officials and uh, it's clear that there's an urgency now in government to roll out. Again, the, the timing of the rollout, that's anybody's guess, but we're quite upbeat that 2013 will deliver some, some sterling projects. Are you already looking at specific tenders? Has government come out and, and sp focused on specific projects, and are you uh, part of the tendering process? Yeah. Yes, stage? yeah, definitely. The water, uh, schools, hospitals, um, already we can see the tenders coming out. Uh, roadworks, definitely. There's uh, uh, been a flurry of tenders on those. And uh, then obviously the big one is the power projects, which is uh, the nuclear. Well, then, uh, let's just touch on that because you have spoken uh, within your results. You were talking about a lot of activity coming through in power generation, mining, and overall infrastructure and roads uh, coming to the fore. Is power going to be the big game changer for the construction I, industry? I do believe so. Uh, I mean, it just, you know, I think the, the nuclear power stations coming just on the civil works, there's, it'll suck up all the capacity in the country because of the sheer size of and the difficulty of those projects. So it's not just about one uh, construction company Correct. then getting the tender, it's many. Correct. It's tough out there. You have said the compet comp competition is, is relatively rife. We know that margins are also coming under yeah. pressure because of this increased competitive environment. What is your sense with regards to how that will play out going forward? What we've done is uh, obviously we took our fair share of the aggressiveness uh, uh, in the 2010s and, and we saw some losses now coming through because of those. But uh, we've tried to stay out of those aggressive um, nature of tenders now. There's still the odd company that needs to find a job to, to keep resources busy. And uh, because of our good order book, we, we, we're not being pulled into that sort of cycle now. And uh, we have focused on our three-tier strategy that we've come out with, which is uh, technically challenging projects, which uh, obviously reduce the competition. It does increase risk but uh, your rewards is so much better. I know yeah. that you're also within the photovoltaic uh, you know, area, yeah. and you're also focusing predominantly on the engineering side of things. Is this is what's giving you your competitive edge? I do believe so. I mean, we've got 1,200 professionals in our engineering company. Um, the merger has created a synergy with us in our engineering company where we've created the newly formed EPC company, Turnkey Projects, and that company has grown from two years ago a 20 million turnover to forecasting nearly 450 million turnover this year. And uh, uh, that same company, together with the energy division, has submitted the first round. We won one of the wind farms. And uh, then the second round, we've submitted a, a photovoltaic. And uh, the construction value of that is 1.5 billion for us if we do get awarded one of those. Okay, well, with regards, I mean, the energy generation, uh, there's also a lot of concern as to who's actually going to buy the energy and who's going to sell it. Are you going to be involved in that at all? Or is it just you involved in the construction? No, no, we, we, we've retained uh, equity. Um, we've got 35% in the wind farm and 26% uh, in the PV. And obviously as the, uh, some investors come in, uh, they, to help us with our equity, we, we sell down a bit. But we would like to stay in for a couple of years because there will be good uh, return on, on, on those. You also mentioned that uh, within the power industry, you said it was going to soak up all capacity in the country. Correct. Yeah. So it's going to soak up all capacity within the country? Uh, yeah, just the nuclear alone. So then how does that change the scenario for construction companies and just hearing a lot of investors that actually bought a lot of the construction shares way too early, two years ago, even a year ago, they're hurting right now. Are you saying that things are going to increase so dramatically that construction companies are going to be as healthy as they were pre-crisis? I don't think we'll, be, we'll have the urgency of a World Cup because remember the World Cup, everything had to be rushed in two years and it was a free for all and any price was accepted. 
I think this time around it's going to be more controlled and the margins will definitely increase because there will be less competition because there's enough work, there will be enough work for everybody. And uh, we hope that um, it'll certainly be coming better and closer to what we experience in the World Cup. You've also been hurt by loss making contracts, particularly mm. within the roads division. Is that going to change? Yeah, we, we wrote off forward uh, looking losses. We wrote off 115 million on, on current projects that will be completed this year. So we've taken the loss already last year. We've taken no upsides on the, uh, on the claims that we've submitted on those. And uh, so we, we're very uh, positive that there could be some uh, money coming back to us uh, going forward. But sometimes arbitration can take up to two years, and uh, so it can be some money can come back only in 2013. Let's touch on TWP because that is doing quite well, and we know you were very highly criticized for the acquisition of TWP at the wrong time. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> and now it seems mm. that it's, it's turning around quite significantly. Mm. So. It's been great for us. The synergy with us and the management of TWP has turned out to be one of the best acquisitions or mergers that we've done. And uh, really, it's a fantastic company. And what it's brought to the capacity of Basel Reed has been amazing. And going forward, you will still experience and see big things coming. So what do you say to those critics that actually you know, came out and said that you know, bought at the wrong time? No, they were entitled to uh, <laughs> their criticism at the time. OK, let's touch on the rest of the African continent, because you have uh, dipped into the rest of Africa. What kind of prospects do you foresee there? Mostly mining, because uh, TWP has brought with it a lot of uh, mining um, uh, interaction. And then um, we mostly mining is the, is the, is the private uh, companies. And, uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult. You've got to be very careful which African countries you work for. So um, we will follow World Bank money into Africa um, because that's more the safe avenue. With regards to the health of the construction industry as a whole, are you, are you currently hiring? Are you looking for new skills? I mean, we're talking about things looking better towards the, you know, 2013. Are you starting to upskill and, you know, increase? Uh, um, your employment base. Yeah, you, as you can see from our, you know, we, we, our, our turnover has been increasing on average between 15 to 25 percent in the last uh, seven years, and we are still on a, a constant growth. So um, our secured workload is already in excess of seven billion for this year. So we are employing around about 30 to 50 people a month. So uh, yeah, it's. Uh, are you talking about high-level engineers? Yeah, no, we're talking about about 25 to to, to uh, 30 uh, high-level skilled engineers, geologists, uh, process engineers. Let's also just touch very quickly on the dividend, because no dividend declared. I mean, headlining especially down 33%, many wouldn't expect a dividend. At what level would you be comfortable to actually pay out a dividend? Have you put a target I, in that? I believe 2012 uh, will be bring back enough uh, uh, cash. And uh, I think we're prudent at the moment not to declare a dividend purely from uh, cash reserves. And uh, because of the rollout of the bigger projects and the work we experienced, we're going to experience to come out in uh, 2013. And uh, we, we actually need that work. And we are still in a, in a growth phase because remember, Basel Reed is still of your mid-tier companies compared to the Avengers and the Marion Roberts. Fantastic. Thank you so very much, sir. Great to have you on the you program. Man. Much appreciated yeah. for your time. Uh, Marius Haynes, the CEO of Basel Reed, taking a look at the results released out today.